How you doing? If you're looking for more of me, you can find it on TikTok. Short films, great content. Here's some previews. How you doing? First car we're going to look at today is the 2008 Raven by Corbin Motors. The Raven is a pre-production prototype, only one of its kind in the world. The Raven is a three-wheeled vehicle. Might only have three wheels, but even less, it's got one door. This is not the side you get in. Here you can see the cutout of the door, and let me show you how it opens. Tight parking, not a problem. It's got beautiful front lines. Look at that door. It's not much to the inside, it's pretty basic. It's got everything you need, but you do have your manual transmission and one seat, spacious leg room. Every car needs a trunk. You can fit a small person in there. There's a beefy 26 horsepower motor. There you go. So I hope you like the first car. Stay tuned, because I got more. How you doing? It's a 1981 Fire Arrow. It's fiberglass body. This car comes with gull wing windows only. To hop in, just raise the window, climb over. Once inside, it's a bit cramped, but what do you want from a sled? This is a motorcycle, so remember, it's one down, four up, or one back, four forward. Under the tail section, this thing's powered by a Super Sport 750. Since the motor's covered and in the back, you had to relocate the radiator for cooling. With a weight of only about 1,200 pounds and a 750cc motor, this thing can giddy up to about 130 plus miles per hour. Manufacturer's suggested retail price is around $16,000 back in 81. Thanks for watching. How you doing? This is a 1972 Shopper. It's a one-seater. But it's got room for groceries. It has a tiller steering wheel. No instrument cluster. How do you get in, you say? Getting in is easy. Just pull, twist, and push. Estimated top speed, 30 miles an hour. There is no reverse gear, but they do provide this beautiful handle. All you do is pick it up, swing it around, and get back in. This thing's powered by a 50cc one horsepower motor. And another three-wheeled vehicle. This particular car is made in Sweden. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. How you doing? This is a 1985 Sinclair C5 Electric. It's not gonna be a long video because this thing is very short on features. This is a recumbent vehicle and it has pedal assist. I'm 6'3 and I fit comfortably. You're lucky to get 20 miles an hour out of this baby. See, I told you it was a short video. Thanks for watching. How you doing? This vehicle is a light star. Built in 1982. This is serial number two. This vehicle resembles a jet. Once driving, it floats on the two wheels, but as you come to a stop, it tilts left or right onto the outriggers. Pull back the canopy, jump in, seats too comfortably. What would you expect from a jet? You're not side by side. Very nice controls. Typically used was a 400cc motor. The Lightstar, originally built, got 100 miles to the gallon, but to make it street legal, they had to add turn signals and side view mirrors, which brought down the miles per gallon a little bit. So thanks for watching my Lightstar video. Stay tuned. I can do a pulse video. How you doing? This is a 1950 Electrobug. A man who shall remain nameless bought four of these and turned them into cars for his grandchildren. Correct me if I'm wrong, but these are from a P47 Mustang? Huh? Anybody out there? No? A few parts are missing. Steering wheel, brakes, accelerator. But the electric motor does remain intact. This is not a street legal vehicle.
just something to tool around the farm with. Thanks for watching. that and if you like that kind of content I can do that content on YouTube here it'll be slightly longer with more information and that way you don't have to go to TikTok but if you're already on TikTok go check me out Q-U-K-S-L-V-R and uh, you'll love my videos thanks for watching